So as soon as you see any restraint, like the horse pulls back or starts to set back, don't pull any more. Don't apply any more pressure than what the horse is putting on. So as soon as the horse sets back and stops and you feel that amount of pressure, you keep it there. You don't pull back. Because if you do that, then you're putting the pressure on yourself. But if you keep it there, the horse is putting the pressure on itself. So the horse is going to say, well, I'm the one putting this pressure on, so I need to release it. But as soon as they feel you make that move to put more pressure, they're going to say, that's not me, that's him. And I don't like that. So if I were to ask her to come to me, I'll ask her very softly like this. And as soon as she took a step, I'm going to release it. I'm going to reward that. Because I want her to think like, hey, I want her to release that pressure. And all I'm asking of her is to come forward. So I'm going to say, come forward, and I release. When she releases, that's me rewarding her, saying, good girl, that's what I'm asking. So now her brain is comprehending of what I'm asking of her. With these babies, you have to be very careful because these babies are very unpredictable. The babies are very unpredictable. So it's important that you start the imprinting process right out the womb. Right out the womb, you have to start the imprinting process so that way they don't fear the human being. They don't feel people. If they fear people, then when they're two or three, it's gonna be a battle. You're gonna be training a damn wild horse. Horses that have no manners. When you train them here, she's gonna understand how to be a lot more accustomed to humans. So she's gonna be a lot softer when you go to ride her when she's three years old. You see that there, no pressure at all. As soon as I walk, I'll start to walk. All I'm asking her is for her to come forward. But I'm gonna keep a little bit of pressure. Now I'm gonna wait for her. And then I'm gonna release as soon as she gives, even though, see how the back feet came forward? I'm still gonna release it. And then I'm gonna ask a little bit more. I'm gonna release it. So this is how you train the babies. I don't I don't care if I don't get her in the trailer today. I don't care if you know she doesn't understand everything. She's a baby. She has a lot of many years. But that's all I care about right there is, is her taking a step forward. Okay. So our goal is to get her in this trailer. So I don't want her to get in the trailer right away. I just want her to smell it and get used to it. This is the whole process when you're training the horses. You have to let them get used to something that they're not used to because in nature, in, in their natural environment, horse traders are very unnatural to horses. This is a confined space and horses don't like confined spaces. They're claustrophobic. So their, nat their natural instinct is to stay away from any, any small enclosure. So when she stops, I'll just apply, not even apply a little pressure, just move to the side so she gives me those feet. See, I'll move to the side. When she gives me those feet and she's moving forward, then I'll reward her. I'll say, that's all I'm asking for. I wanna be as soft as I can on this line because I don't want her tearing off. Okay, so I'll just ask for it. As soon as she gives me a step, I'll pet her. Now I'm planting the seed in her brain that that's exact. See how she took another step and I didn't even ask her. So she knows exactly what I'm asking of her. So apply a little bit more here, right there, release. That's the reward. I'm just gonna keep her here. Let her get, let her get used to this spot right here. It's pretty damn good for a baby. Now she's gonna go to smell it because she's unfamiliar with it. But she's familiar with me. There, right there, see? I'm gonna let her smell it. Like when you're training these horses, give them their head, you know? Let them figure things out. They have to smell it before they touch it. Any, any horse, whether it be a baby or a grown horse. When you see a horse come up to something, they're gonna smell it before they touch it. They wanna make sure it's safe. 
they won't touch it first. They'll smell it. They'll stop and they'll smell it. So that's very important. Very important what you have to look for with the horse. So that smell is important to me because it's going to allow her to understand what it is and then she'll start to feel it. But first is smelling it. Okay, what is this? See how she's smelling it? That's all you want. With the babies, that's all you want. You just want to tell her good girl. That's all you want with the babies. No more than that. I don't want I don't want to push her to anything. See, I'm gonna just walk her away. She got used to that. That's perfect. Just walk her away.